And Senator Bernie Sanders is with us now from Washington, D.C. Senator, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Uh, let me start with a question a lot of people have been asking lately. Hillary Clinton technically wrapped up the nomination of your party about 35 days ago. Why did it take so long for you to endorse her? Well, there was a lot of work to do to make sure that we had the strongest possible platform. Look, uh, what my campaign is about is expanding the middle class, raising the minimum wage, uh, having trade policies that create jobs in this country, making sure that all of our young people are able to afford to go to college and that we deal with the issue of student so, debt, So you're saying you change. were negotiating over these past 35 days to make sure she adhered to some of your core principles? Well, we, it was a question of bringing the party together around the progressive agenda. And what ended up happening is the Democratic platform turns out now to be the most progressive platform the Democratic Party has ever had. And I'm proud of that. We didn't get everything we wanted, but it is a progressive platform. Senator Sanders, let's be blunt about it. Is this an enthusiastic endorsement of Hillary Clinton? Or is this more about you saying Donald Trump really ought not to be president? In your mind, is this really a choice between the lesser of two evils? No, this is a choice uh, about making sure that the middle class of this country, which has been in decline for 40 years, uh, gets rebuilt. So it's sounding like you're, you're firmly on Hillary Clinton's team. In your speech yesterday, you said you intend to do everything you can to make sure she is the next president of the United States. What exactly does that mean? Are you two well, going to campaign side by side? Will you speak at the convention? Well, I, I suspect that I will speak at the convention, and I suspect that I will be running all over this country. Look, I think the election of Donald Trump as president will be a disaster uh, for this country. This is a man who does not have the, in my view, temperament uh, to be president of the United States. I don't think the people of this country want to see somebody proposing hundreds of billions of dollars in tax breaks for the richest two-tenths of one percent while you cut back on programs for working families. That is not what this country needs. Senator... So, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Last week, the FBI director came out and said that Hillary Clinton was extremely careless with highly sensitive email information, that in fact, many of the explanations she's given about her email practices turned out to be not true. Did any of that from Director Comey give you pause before you endorsed her? And if not, why not? Well, look, uh, Hillary Clinton is not a perfect human being. Bernie Sanders is not a perfect human being. Uh, and, you know, that's the way life is. But I think what we have to focus on is not, and this is what I said yesterday in my remarks, it's not Donald Trump as a person, not Hillary Clinton as a person. But it that's is not a the personal, needs, that's well, let me finish. It is the issue. needs of the middle class and working families. Which candidate is going to do more for ordinary Americans? And I think that the answer to that is very, very clear. If you're talking about creating jobs and rebuilding our infrastructure, expanding health care, making college affordable for all people, I think that that is Hillary Clinton's agenda. If you want tax breaks for billionaires, if you want a candidate for president in 2016 who thinks that climate change is a hoax, despite what the entire scientific community is saying, well, I guess Donald Trump is your guy. During if you last... want somebody who divides us up by insulting Muslims or Mexicans or women, Donald Trump is your guy. But I don't think most Americans want that type of person to be president. During the last couple of days or weeks, Senator, have you had direct discussions with Secretary Clinton about who you would like to see her choose as a running mate? I have had discussions with Secretary Clinton, but that subject did not come up. Do you hope to serve in a Clinton administration if she were elected? That issue has not yet come up. I am very, very happy and very proud to represent the state of Vermont and the United States Senate. And who would be number one on your wish list for her to choose as a running well, mate? Well, she won the primary, uh, she won the nominating process. But you that can have an opinion. Decision. Well, this is what I think, uh, and it doesn't surprise anybody. We need somebody who is not attached to Wall Street. We need somebody who has a history of standing up and fighting for working families, uh, somebody who believes that health care should be a right of all people and that we should make college education, uh, public colleges and universities tuition free. So I would like to see the most progressive person possible. Senator Bernie Sanders. Senator, we appreciate you spending time with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.